Go, a little storybook called Butter Snakes and Gumballs was written. As people started to realise all the things they were throwing on their rubbish heaps was going to affect their future. Rubbish was starting to accumulate and be absolutely everywhere. And in those days, rubbish heaps were spread wide throughout the Australian bush. Every farmer, every factory and every home had a rubbish heap where all manner of rubbish was thrown, from tyres to steel cans, from stoves to old cars. The author, S.A. Wakefield, realised littering could be reduced by entertaining the hearts and minds of children. I recently pulled my copy out of this book from behind all my new grown-up books to reread it. I remembered back to when it used to be read to me at night as a little kid. As I said, the author realised littering could be not a problem anymore if she could entertain the roots of where littering starts. He wrote about two opposing groups of imaginary creatures, both of which thinly disguised parodies of different opposing human groups in the environment. The litterers and those who clean up after them. The butter snakes were the litterers. They lived in rubbish heaps and ate magazine food pitchers. They had noisy parties and were incredibly lazy. The gumballs, on the other hand, were industrious, much given to having picnics together, cleaning up rubbish and being friends with all the bush animals, much like today's environmentalists. <laughs> Today we face a similar problem, and I believe it's time for new ideas, a new change, a refocus on littering, where it really counts, in the hearts and minds of children. It's not that littering is new, far from it. It is millennia old. But what has changed is our awareness of right and wrong when it comes to littering. Strangely, we hold in our hands the power to abolish all forms of human life. And yet the dumping of litter and rubbish is still an issue. We dare not forget today, we are the heirs to the only beautiful and life-giving planet that really matters to us all. We are the new generation of humanity. And I believe we should be unwilling to witness or permit the continued destruction of our planet to an uneducated or uncaring minority. We are committed here in Australia and around the world. Keep Australia Beautiful decided that they would create a committee of children under the age of 15. Armed with the knowledge that people over the age of 15 make up 98.5% of Australia's litter. And here I am representing New South Wales and presenting to you all. So, wait, does that mean children throw away litter? Yes, these children are the undiscovered ones. The uncaring and uneducated litterers. They litter in schools every day. They litter where you can't see them, in the corner of buildings. They litter by walking away from their drop rubbish. They litter quietly, sneakily, and deny their actions. I believe littering with denial is not a misdemeanor. It's an indication of lack of honesty, a failing of society, a lack of moral decency. No society can endure when its members are lacking in honesty of character. There is an ethos in our community, in our nation, and in our global society, which enables trust between people, exactly as they're a moral compass in the individual. But if the individual commits acts of littering and then denies these unworthy actions, they lose moral direction by the constant repetition of littering with denial, discrediting the moral strength of our whole society. We cannot be defenceless and let this happen to us, the new generation of humanity. An idea for us to attack this global problem is by developing a contest which encourages school children not to litter. 
and critical changes such as school staff no longer picking up children's rubbish. A potential contest strategy is one that motivates and encourages schools and students to create a cleaner environment in their school. There are many examples of this approach in the adult world, such as the Tidy Towns and Clean Beaches Awards. We can strike at the epicenter of littering by engaging schools and school children in these types of contests. Just one simple idea can make a difference, can change the world. This new idea for a clean school contest could be called Emu Parade, after the Australian name of the litter drive, used to pick up rubbish as a group across playing fields, paddocks, and in the bush. It is vital for our society as a whole to develop trust in this issue. And I hope the effort we make to reduce littering will develop trust and honesty in the next generation.